Right, we're rolling, man. We're here in Charlie Old England at the British Museum to partake in our ancestors' stolen history. And stolen history from all over the world. This is the creme de la creme of ancient artifacts. We're going to go in here and see what we can see. All right. Show sure enough. I got the food with the Linda. Uh, how you doing, sis? Hey, London, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Finally relaxing now mm -hmm. and going to take some sights in. Right, we just got through with three days of lecturing, one day of ritual, off the chain. All right. Yes. Okay, so we're about you, to roll up in the museum? Yep. Exactly. And see what's going down. All right, all right. Rockefeller told them, when they built the University of Chicago, Rockefeller told them, this shit is too clean, too new. Make it old. And they made it look like this okay. in the 20th century. They made it look like this in a matter of months. They told them, make it old. And they made it look just like this. So, I guess that's nostalgia. Make it look authentic. Yeah. Tell it. <laughs> yeah, we know they try to superimpose themselves on our culture and you know, right. from historical, you know, the like Romans, you, make, you, you got it. <laughs> make it look like ruins. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's very interesting. Well, as you know, we're at the British Museum, and as I always say, you don't find too much British history inside the museum. This That's is not what right. pulls people inside there. It's the Asian, African, and indigenous, right. you know, traditions that people come here to really check out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, well we're got to marvel at it. All right. <laughs> Joined by brother Israel, man. Yeah, We've just man. been documenting <laughs> the little piece, the little piece, piece and that. We're gonna go around and do some cold breaking while yeah, we're in the cold museum. Breaking, you know. we're in the museum. This Come is brother Israel, <laughs> the British Nigerian assassin, <laughs> <laughs> doing cosmic drive-bys <laughs> on your mind. He's shooting from the lip and not the hip. <laughs> okay. but he's officially gonna be the official. Scholar of the UK, <laughs> and all. So uh, we, we 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 found several gods here, and um, hopefully this brother will rise up, you know, and um, uh, show us a cross-cultural aspect of both the Nigerian and the UK. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And uh, there's a lot of research to be done. Just, just in history alone to try to uncover some stuff. Hopefully this brother here can, you know, uh, be effective in the future. So we're documenting him on the tape now, so <laughs> people back home, be on the lookout. You see what I'm saying? Thanks. That, you know. that, that means a lot coming from uh, uh, a master, a master teacher. So, you know? so we sanction him now in the British Museum. You see what I'm saying? You know, as one of the brothers, you know, that's, that's, that's coming up. But um, we, we try to tell people at home to utilize your scholars here, you know, because the king is with our honor in his own home. So next time you see Brother Israel on some flyers and some posters and giving a presentation, you all need to come out to his presentation. You see what I'm saying? And like I said again, you need to utilize Brother Darren, who's putting on this stuff, and give him some help so we can bring this stuff around the whole Europe and America. And right now, it's time to conquer Europe with this thing. Oh, shame. Yes, sir. You know, you know and um, maybe he might be the link to the continent for us. Mm -hmm. We need, a, we, we, we need a, a cultural link to the continent that, you know, we brothers in America don't necessarily have. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so, um, Nigeria being partly an uh, English-speaking country, we can bridge the gap also, you know, with that whole thing, you know. So this this is a real powerful time that we got gods and all meeting. What appropriate place for us to meet mm -hmm. and get this particular information in a place that's got all of our artifacts. <laughs> I hear that. And like you said, there's very little British history in the British Museum. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Yes, we give thanks, you know. We got Bobby Hewitt, HOC, Hatch of Consciousness, all you guys in 
over the states, oh. United Snakes of America, yes, you know, as we call it. But, um, yeah, <laughs> <For sure. laughs> you know, but you know, we're in the British Museum, we're doing our thing. Big up to Bobby Hermit, we've got the master here, you know, definitely one of the people who made my eyes start waking in, you know what I'm saying? So I'm on my path now, you know what I'm saying? Just like everybody else. So we're here. Like I said, no British history in the British Museum, but it's our things. Even mm. even if there is British history here, it's still our stuff. That's right. You understand? Mm. Ancient Druids, the ancient Moors. So we are the Moors coming back, reincarnated, coming back to claim back what's rightfully ours. So uh, we're here, we're going to be taking, uh, going uh, through the uh, ancient Kemetic part, uh, ancient Green, ancient Etruscan, Minoan, they have all that here. Uh, they have their uh, continent. Continental stuff, I mm, believe downstairs, mm, yeah. and all of that, and um, you know, the dog and stuff, the Yoruba stuff, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, we're going to be, you know, dealing with all of that, and um, it's going to be documented. It's going to be right. documented. No pie in the sky. This is real deal history, real deal science, real deal history. You understand? All right, cool. All right. All right. This is the head of Tuck Moses III. And um, it's interesting, and this is, like I say, this is one of the smaller heads compared to some of they got, some of the heads they got. But we were saying that they said they had anything from 15 to 20 um, artists working on a statue at the same time. And that's impossible in, 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 in modern times because different artists have different uh, de degrees of talent, uh, different levels. Well, they said that they were such advanced people that they could get all the artists at the same time to have the same degree of talent on the highest level. So when they do these statues, it all comes out just as smooth and comes out the same. And it was perfect. You okay. see what I'm saying? It was perfect. You know, so we're talking about a level of mastery and genius that our people put together. And now they're going to tell us that our kids can't learn. You know what I'm saying? No, you can't teach them. They didn't have no thing, such thing as a, a, a different different capacities of learning in, yeah, in ancient Kenya. Yeah. No such thing. Yeah. You see, there's no such thing as a child left behind mm -hmm. or, or yeah, you know, yeah. uh, 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 different different degrees, you know. So obviously, obviously we lost some type of um, rights of passages to learn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how to learn on a certain level. Uh, How's it going, But it wasn't nothing like this because they couldn't bring these big statues. Mm -hmm. Like you said. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Then. Tell us a bit about Segment before we... Finally together. Segment is the, is a healer, a destroyer. She's the original Kundalini goddess. And she will have the last word. Because the energy that pulsates in our body is actually her energy. And she's both, on one aspect, the flip side of her is the goddess Hip Heru. In her uh, sexual and in her uh, romantic aspect creative aspect, in her ferocious aspect, she is the Seven. goddess segment, and in her tame aspect, she is the, she is the goddess bass, or bass death. Mm -hmm. Either way, um, I've always had a connection with her, and um, I'm glad to come and be with the family. So this is like a family reunion. <laughs> I've only seen, they have one big statue down in Atlanta of her, but now they have four. Hey, that mm -hmm. is great. Right. We're going to hang out here and eat some kibbles and bits. <laughs> 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 All right. Mm -hmm. We got about 12 cats around our house, straight cats, so they're going to be pleased to see they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be happy about that. Their ancestors is where they came from. That's the air. We're going to take this, brother. We're going to take this. 
this with Brother Sinetta. <laughs> black Power Fist, yeah. It's the original, where the original Black Power Fist come from. <laughs> Brother Sinetta should be pleased to, to see this arm right here. But I would hate to see the statue that it came from. Yeah. Well, that's the head of Oh, that's right. Okay, that's the head. Wow. Wow. And that is, that is, um, a key. They don't even know the name. Okay, I'm in, I'm in Hocus the third. Okay. I'm in Hocus the third. I'm in Hocus the third. Wow. Hmm. You can't disguise those lips and those, that nose, man. That's, I hear that's, that. I hear that. I hear that. It's straight. <laughs> There's no if, but, or maybe. You know what I mean? Cheekbones, nose, the lips. Told you definitely the story of who's who, you know? So, you know ultimately, a great symbol, greatest symbol of alchemy. And, you know, alchemy is the study of melanin. And the Spink is a composite figure which any kind of composite figure that they show, usually that is talking about uh, uh, um, it's a symbol of alchemy because alchemy is co uh, combining all the elements in the universe and ultimately coming together in the body to make the smooth ash you know, with, the, with the Masonics call it, or they also the Philosopher's Stone. And that's ultimately what the Sphinx is because it's a combination, it's our market, but it's actually Heru and Ma, Mayat, in a pyramid coup. Hamaku, Hamaku. The, the, the Arabs say, um, they call him Abu, the father of the globe, globe on, the, on the Arabic aspect of the actual space. But it has great mysteries and all. Some, you know, says the original Lion of Judah, because it's also called the rest, of, it, it, the rest of our resting place of the lion where you get to where Rasta from. Also, it's also called um, the, 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 the bad baby lion. The, the Babylonian Plateau. Mm -hmm. So before it was the rest of the plateau, it was called the Babylonian Plateau in pre-dynastic Egypt. Um, the Gnostic Kings was dug up in 1945, the Nag Hammadi Library, in Bentley Layton Scriptures, a book called the Gnostic Scriptures by Bentley Layton. They, they, when they translated the Nag Hammadi, uh, the Nag Hammadi um, um, Library, they kept seeing this Babylon through it. But then they, when, they, when, they, when they traced it, they found out that that was one of the names of the Spanish the baby lion or the baby lion or the mother and her baby. So probably that whole, and so that's also connected with Sekhmet also. It's Gerald Massey documents in ancient Egypt light of the world. So it has a lot of um, things, but ultimately the ultimate secret is, is alchemy and ultimate secret is also melanin, but it's also called Horus on the horizon. So, um, the other word, hey, root, which means great face. And that's the, and the face, the great face is the great face of hearts. But what is the real great face? The mystery of the great face is the pineal gland is actually the face of God. So that's, the, so that's what Heru means. In Greek, it means great face. You know, so you got the great face, face of the Sphinx. And this is very interesting about the Sphinx because um, Egafasi and, and them, uh, he did a prophecy that, that, that there would be the Hall of Records would come under the Sphinx. And when the Hall of Records are open, um, it, it, it would be a great manifestation of, of an avatar called John Pineal. But he, but, but they were thinking it was actually a literal Hall of Records. They haven't been able to find in that Hall of Records. But the Hall of Records, it was talking about the Sphinx and dealing with melanin is the Akashic Records. The word Akashic means black substance. So it's talking about Akashic Records other than the Hall of Records. So they missed the school, but yet they have, the, 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 the Education Society has spent millions of dollars and even got an office in, in Cairo. And I was still trying to trying to get to the bottom of that and they don't understand. The Hall of Records is talking about us. You see what I'm saying? In that particular case, we're talking about the new UK gods of Britain as well as the Africans and the, the diaspora that have the melanin, which is a cost of records. So the Sphinx has a whole uh, 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 a whole lot of meaning and stuff like that. But I, I, obviously, this is some kind of stone. Yeah, it came from the beard. The, uh, the, the, the beard? The beard of it, yeah. Oh, wow. Which they recovered. Hmm. So, Wow, so that's even that's yeah, even that's great cool. to have that. Yeah, you know, so mm -hmm. apparently you had a you know had a beard. Wow, yeah. you know, yeah. mm. that's out of sight. Mm -hmm. so that's part of the beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, that's the part there that came off. Yeah, you can see it on the side there. Yeah, yeah. 
We don't know if it came off. I'm saying. Oh, okay, yeah. Bulldoze uh, yeah, that well, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure it didn't come off. It was shot off. That's what we were saying yeah, before I mean, we come in there. Dynamite there. stuff, you know what I mean? Because How they try to make the ancient buildings it's of the past, gross. like they try to make the British Museum look ancient. Should, you know, right, like as you're coming exactly. in, you've got the pylons right, and right, stuff. Exactly. But you look up around, you see the buildings are falling down. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the ancient sites that they're trying to mimic, <laughs> yeah. and they ain't got the same it's architecture. Right My sarcophagus is in here, me in a past life. We gotta find it. Yeah. It just came to you. Mm -hmm. it Let's find it, man. Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Well, that, that's, that's, we gotta that's, find it. We gotta find it. My sarcophagus. Okay, we'll go back. Oh, okay, okay. We're, 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 we're gonna go out. But there's a few of them. We need to talk about this doorway. This is very important. There's a black one. You have a black one that you can touch? Yeah. This is, this is very important. I was selling these things. I remember. This is the doorway. Now, they said that what would happen with the doorway is, people could understand, how could you have a wall up stone and call it a doorway? They say the key was not to go through the door physically, but to train your mind to go through the door astrally. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a doorway. We saw a small one down in Atlanta, but this one is the biggest one I've seen. Wow. As well, like they're making they're making modern modern modification. Alterations to it as well. That's mm. alterations, that's modern. That, that, yeah. That's, that's yeah, modern. Yeah, they're yeah, just making yeah, yeah. alternations to that, so. Yeah. You know, that's, and then they got the cheek to say, please do not touch the arm. Oh, you know? <laughs> These guys, boy, yeah. damn teeth. <laughs> Steal our shit and then tell us how we should, you know, should uh, what we should or should be touching. Yeah. <laughs>
Phoenician form becomes Pan and Dionysus, and, and so Pan and Dionysus. So uh, by the time the Knights Temple come up, they take a composite of all of that and make the, the bottom it. In, in the book from um, Ivory Shaw book, um, the called the Sufis, and then he said they, they made the bottom to venerate their, to venerate their, 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 their founders. Okay. Uh, which was the Moors, the perfect man. And the Bafomet is supposed to mean the head of the Moor, the perfect man. The black man, the perfect man. And that's all documented in Ivory Shah's book. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's actually the Moor. Yeah, in that book, the soup, in that book, the soup is. In modern day occultism, Bafomet has been twisted into some demonic figure. Right. Well, actually, it's, it's, that is the way that the priest used to do yeah, stuff. Yeah. Actually, it's Saturn. The goat god is Saturn. You see what I'm saying? The chastise. So, to the neophyte, to the neophyte, it is the same monster that tell you don't go in that doorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to the priest, they understand in actuality, it is the doorway and it is enlightenment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the Gets Men over there, you can see them taking out the <laughs> penis. <laughs> or some twisted cracker use it for a vibrator or something, yeah, you know, they yeah, get twisted you know, like that. They probably got it down in the basement doing some rituals with you it. You got it, so, brother. You know, so, you know, that's the kind of mind, mindset. They that try to come across all clean cut, you know, and above boards. Yeah. We have to remember, they stole this to get it here, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. <laughs> They're not preserving it. Don't, don't be fooled. Center of the um, of the zodiac, the zodiac. Yeah, the yes. Yeah. Can you just give us a little a insight doll. into that? Hmm? Give us a little insight into that a representation why she's at the center of the giving birth to the universe. She's okay. the great mother, and the little dog that she's giving birth to. The original one was set pre dynastic set mm -hmm. in which all of the dynastic gods get the attributes from. So okay. the pre dynastic set was the primordial god of all time, mother and son, tired and set, <clears throat> and um, a typhon and set. And um, later on, although he was relegated as, 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 as the adversary in the dynastic, the actual attributes of Osiris, Tehuti, Horus, and Anubis, because mm. it's hard to er, 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 all of that Came was, from. was set. All right. You see, he said all of that was set at the pre-dynastic set, you know, and so all of his attributes, okay. you know, yeah. All right. While we're here, I need to highlight. You need to see this guy here, the security guard. He's just been sent over. So I'm my spirit's telling me that straight. But when you look at him, my man's not human, bro. Because the way he even walked past, yeah. I don't say. But I know it's the way he walked past. I yeah, look at his man as man's not human. Yeah, he ain't human. Some uh, clone has just been freshly come out of. Uh, yeah, as soon as he walked past, I felt it. As soon as he walked past, I felt it, and I looked at him. And you can I see, see the way he was looking at us and all that. Look, he's, on, he's, he's got an agenda and he's <laughs> machine. That's robot. Mm. You know I mean? Mechanical. Mechanical. <laughs> mechanical. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This is here, here, a room on top of there. Yeah. It's ironic, but that's the, 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 the Egyptian deck that she pulled in the, in the, in the uh, yeah, yes, lecture. Yeah. The actual, oh, right, that's right. Yes, the, high right yeah. the high priestess. Yeah. Actually, 
they chose that, so that's that Tarot card. Mm -hmm. And that's the energy that was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's the little ride out? Mm -hmm. Who in the world gonna lift all this? <laughs> what you think in the same? I'm like, this is no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. plays at school yeah. and it was always done from the physical perspective there was no yeah, metaphysical yeah, or spiritual yeah, understanding yeah. of it they yeah. taught it as this guy legend of the minotaur that was one of the plays oh, yeah, i yeah, never yeah, always yeah, remember yeah, 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 you know what i'm saying yeah, and they do it from a yeah. from a left brain you know What we were just saying, this is the original dick here, and if you look at the helmet of the brothers wearing, kind of makes sense. That's so true. Yeah. 
in the election, yeah. the tree of life, yeah. the pine cone, and the bucket. He's the real action one. There's another one with the same thing. The man with the two wings, mm. the Lord of the wings. He's two. Representative of Horace too, but the eagle represents the East and the State. Pine cone is the pine hill gland, and the bucket of water. Mm -hmm. Then they got a man doing it over there. Mm -hmm. ah. Babylonian version of the Kabbalah, you understand? So all cultures had it. We've had it in the Temple of Komombo, ancient Ken. They obviously have it. That's what the so-called uh, fake Juden is, uh, the fake Jews running around now trying to, you know, promote and claim that, oh, it's their thing, they're the chosen people. But obviously, you can see there, it's evident that you see the different spheres of the tree. You know what I'm trying to say? So that was their version uh, of the Kabbalah there, yeah, you know, by the Babylonians. in 2002 and 2003. There's your judgment scene with Osiris. Mm -hmm. your book of the dead. Come forth by day. Come forth by day. These are pictures of Lilith. They're real small. Look at her face. You can see the crow's feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the bigger one. It must be in another museum. Or downstairs. Yeah. Even in later cultures, they never abandoned the magic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And you saw that even in the movie Gladiator. They had all the good. Yeah, the soldier, he, when, after they killed his wife, uh, Maximus, the gladiator, he had the dolls for his wife and his child. And the black guy was, and the black guy was asking him, he goes, what, what are those? And he goes, those are my wife and, uh, my wife and child, my wife and son, and I speak to them. And he goes, what is it you say? And he says, I tell my son that I'm going to meet him again in the afterlife. And he goes, what I tell my wife is none of your business. <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah, 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 yeah. And he had a little dog. He had a little, two little dogs. Mm. <laughs> so, okay, okay. <laughs> this is Kwan Yin. And we have a statue in our house like this and an altar to Kwan Yin. So now we get to see the real deal thing in the British Museum. But those some of the handout wins, some of the handouts you gave out yesterday. Yes, yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 See look. The mudras, I just want to highlight as well the mudras and the gang signs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, there. <laughs> so when they're saying all that East yeah. Coast and stuff, you know, that's... And this is the whole Indian tuggy thing, you know what I'm saying? It's all related, the thugs, the tuggies, the, the slang and the gang signs, all of that comes from a root. And we're very close to that they root. Symbolize, you see, they symbolise, they're symbols because they symbolise, as they're doing that, they, 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 they're sigils. So they, mm. they, as, as they're doing that, they, it, 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 it makes some specific energies. Because yeah. as the nerves are connected to certain glands in the body, right. when you do that, you, mm. you let off certain, the body lets off certain secretions now that take it into all right. higher realms, you right. see. So it's deep stuff. You know, people would just see that as this thing, but that, that, that's yeah. there, you know, yeah. just by yeah. doing that, that's you right. get made right. what that can yeah. what it's in the body. It's like currents, isn't it? You've got different currents that flow in through. Flowing, through. exactly. Yeah. The goddess Tara. Another one of my altars in my house is the goddess Tara. And it's a shapely and a hip blade Tara <laughs> also. Yeah. Um, succulent race. earlier form of Kuan Yin. Here's a picture. Here's a picture of Shiva Naharaja. Shiva Naharaja, which is the dancing Shiva that, that destroys the earth or destroys the world. This is the Shiva Naharaja. This is the, the Langam, sacred penis that's represented in India also. The Shiva Langa. You've got the double serpent too at the top. He's holding the, the mm -hmm. two serpents. Mm -hmm. This is Pavati, Shiva's wife. And we don't hardly get a lot of pictures, a lot of, a lot of statues of her. They say that men used to watch Pavati and ejaculate on the ground mm -hmm. just by the mere sight of her. <laughs> and as we can see, why? <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a picture of Lakshmi that's close to this in the Gimme Museum, the same one that I sell. That's Pavati, or Uma, Uma Pavati. We didn't get to go to the temple. This is why we're here also. We are now in the Ganesha cycle. Ganesha's energy is present. We are glad to come visit him. Mm -hmm. Wish we had some curry to give him. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. He's the remover of obstacles, and as you can see, this lad is. That's a decimal. Don't try to talk. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Yes. you don't know what it means. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Alas. This is the God Vishnu. The God Vishnu, the consort of, of Lakshmi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is one that we have in our home. This is Vishnu and Lakshmi. Yeah, there you go. Vishnu and Lakshmi. Mm -hmm. The sacred consort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's also Vishnu, different forms of Vishnu. Wow. Yeah. Look at this sister. Mm -hmm. Mother Goddess. Naharaja trampling the dwarf, the dwarf of ignorance. He's trampling the dwarf of ignorance. This is Shiva Naharaja, Shiva the destroyer. This is a great one. Mm -hmm. Wow. South India. Oh, this is a nice one. Mm. Nah, I've not been in this section before. You never you know. I've never been in this time. section before. I'm just looking at this, I'm like, why haven't I not been here before? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. This is big. This is nice. This is nice. Mm. I mean, it's, it's big in here. It's big. It's, it's See, it's just reinforcing more and more that these fuckers went all over the world, you know what I'm saying? We're just ripping this We're just, yeah. We're ripping off the culture. Look at this right there, man. Aruba. That sounds African. Yeah. yeah. South yeah. Indian, Tamil. Well, he's from the Tamil, so obviously, Tamil, you know, yeah, Tamil, yeah, that's the, yeah. It's all connected. You know, it's just about the tones. Yeah. Garuda. Garuda. That's the form of, um, what's the name of uh, uh, Rise of Garuda Bird in Vishnu? Okay. This is a, this is a form of being, um, the mother, and she's suckling, Chris, Krishna is suckling her. Krishna is suckling the mother. And laid back. Shiva Uma, the, the divine consort and his fine lady, mm -hmm. she was saying, and she has the sucking on some gin and juice, we got the trident. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nice piece. This is big. They just ripped it off the wall. You know. The hairstyle on this sister as well. Yeah. She's got the cobra yeah. Yeah. and the crown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know we're dealing with the same people, yeah, dealing with the same this sciences. Is, this is straight right. out of Kim. 
I, I think you can't even have it straight. No, it's but so maybe with the hair. Or like or that, which, yeah, we really don't know one of the DVDs that I got from you, I can't remember which one it was, but where you showed the image of the Mac. The Mac. Yeah, yeah. that you showed your saw oh. with, um... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the ultimate poem of what was earlier segment is now Durga. Mm. Durga killing the buffalo demon. Buffalo demon represents the matrix. Right. Mm -hmm. it represents the matrix. And just going back, two things that just jumped out at me with Chamuda. Mm -hmm. So there's a place in Africa called Zamuda. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if there's any connection there. And yeah. then I looked right over there, and look, it says the temples of Orisa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, look, look at that. Mm -hmm. Temples of Orisa. Orisa. Oh, Orisha. So that's got, there's got to be some link. There's no coincidence. There's got to be some link. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to show you one of the, one of the ones that they would give to the M.A. Museum. The M.A. Museum, they would give them more of the black figures. Wow, yeah, yeah. Straight oh, away, I see that. that. See, this is Vishnu now. Oh, is that Vishnu? That's, that's Vishnu. Vishnu. Look at that. Look at this. And this is Shiva. But that's Vishnu, how, how Vishnu originally looked. Looked. You see? Yeah. This is the Gimei yeah. Museum, yeah. check this out. That's Vishnu, how Vishnu originally looked. Black like he from Ethiopia, black like he from Nigeria. That's what I'm saying. He looked West that. African. Yeah. And that's Vishnu. That's coming from the Kushite people, people. Or, the, or the untouchables and all of them people, right. the Vidians. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I mean, and these are the stuff that they... And check this out, this is a place called Kashmir. Kashmir is now in Pakistan and that's where they be fighting and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see? You Kashmir, and, and, and they got a whole Shiva cult called Shava, Kashmir Shavaism. It's a Shiva cult. And this is the black thing, you see what I'm saying? And you can tell right here if they didn't knock off the nose, it would look like this. This is a form of Shiva. This is the black, this is the stuff that they give to the Gimei Museum in Paris. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Look at this, look at this. Durga. That's Durga looking African. That's the original segment. See, yeah. see they never show <laughs> And this is where it in the back. This is where it comes from. I know. And this is where it comes from. Here's another Shiva and Pavati looking like brother and looking like the brothers and sisters on the continent. And they ain't and this ain't no this ain't the only Egyptian. They look West African. See? See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They look West African. That means that these are from even the, the earliest forms of the of, of the cults in in, in, in India, mm. and they will show these in the back of the stuff. Now, obviously, they, if they got the two things on the side that's preserved, they rub the face off of, for, yeah. of this picture <laughs> because it looked like this brother down here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, 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 look at Lakshmi. Oh man, look, look, look at the real. Lakshmi. You see? Look at the real Lakshmi. Never seen this yeah. over there. Look at the real Lakshmi. And same thing Vishnu. again, Kashmir. Kashmir. Mm-hmm. Look at Vishnu. So it's not in inconceivable when um um my man Alec, what's my name? Um my man Bay from Oh yeah, uh, well, said, I haven't said some oh, oh, oh. No, no um the brother that said that that that, that the Shang Dynasty yeah, yeah, comes, comes from, from Shang Dynasty. Right. Um, there you go. Look at look at this lock to me. Look at this lock to me. I don't know, it doesn't look like that's just I know, the we Look at that Lakshmi. Look at Shiva and Pilati. 
Afghanistan. That's where the brother was from that came to visit us and stuff, you see. You see. And here's a Sheba in Pabati. Um, Punjab, okay, Punjab Hills. Mm, got the Nisha down there chilling with him. All our stuff. It's amazing. This is probably worth a thousand bucks. A million bucks because the simple fact he is, you get to see something that they don't even put in the book. And this is the stuff they sell in museums around the world because they don't want to, they're going to get them out of India. Like this Vishnu brother right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, the truth will be told. Mm. Out of this world. These are the regular ones that they show in the museums. Uh, the Shiva, this is the Pavati that I mm -hmm. talk about. Um, that's a Shiva. But look at this Shiva. Look at this Shiva down here. Look at that Shiva down here. Uh, see, when you get the stone, that means it's older than the cast. The cast that they started doing later. This is the real deal. Right, exactly. and, and look at that afro. No, look at this. And this is the shape. Look at that bush. I, I see. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's look at that bush. So today we have actually uncovered oh, yeah. stuff, stuff yeah. for the people. I was talking about going to the one in, in Paris, the Gimme. In Paris to see all that. No, they got it right here through this museum. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's the original. When you get the stone, that's the, the earlier forms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the earlier forms. Mm -hmm. Different things of Vishnu. Um, Vishnu and his consorts. Shiva. Well, everything. Look at this brother right here. Look at the nose on that brother there. And the nose on that brother there. Those are African looking noses. Even the phenotypes. I know mm -hmm. Africans like the the, uh, the the Maasai got noses yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> South India musician musician. South India. Mm hmm Wow. Um, um, thing where they'd be, uh, like to say, blowing saxophones. Okay. And, um, Smoking the, dope. That, 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 that Ganesha uh, figure. Mm -hmm. We don't even want to get into Africa or Buddha. You see. We don't even get into that. We'll be here all, all day. Mm -hmm. This Shiva here, the statue, yeah. same mm -hmm. thing. From Cambodia. Mm -hmm. Look at that brother. Yeah. And check out the name, Cam. Cam. Yeah. Cambodia. That's, a, that's an actual for Anchor Watt. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are like the um, balls the sisters got at um, the venue in it, you know, on the screens. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Buddhas. But they look more like the Cambodian. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Style. <laughs> And, and that looks like the dagger. You know where you see that dagger too? Yep. The golden child. That's where I saw it. Right. The golden oh, child. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the child was from Tibet. <laughs> the yeah, golden yeah. The same yeah. dagger with Eddie Murphy.
because this is one of the this is one of the Bodhisattva Tara. This is one of the ones that I have in my, I mean, you know, one of one of the altars of Tara. But if you look, look at look at that face. Here go again, tracing Tara back to her original, you see, um, African origin. Okay, okay. Okay, then we go around the bookstores and Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just have a look around. She looks like a Maasai. Mm. Definitely. Snapshot, this is of the funerary rites of my uncle Kung Su, me in a former life. And I want to say this, I came all the way from America to see this and get this, the 27th dynasty. So I wanted to, uh, wanted to get that. And th this place was closing, but he was able to let us in. Um, after 17. 17, where's 17? 17, right there. Yeah, I'll call the Kung 17. I'll call the Kung 17, snapshot, and this is the actual papyrus. I was able to get that. Man. Yeah. All, all right. right. All right. In the British Museum, was able to get a funerary rite of me in a past yes. life. And after they shut down and they still let us in. <laughs> all right. Okay. 27 times. You should have come earlier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, man, we're just leaving the British Museum now. Yeah. We've got some footage, yes. Bobby. Can you just give us a little overview, man? Well, we, 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 I, I, I wasn't expecting to find uh, a funerary sarcophagus of when I was in Kemet. Um, I had already found, I had already known about it, but I wasn't expecting to find, you know, uh, uh, a funerary painting uh, of one of my incarnations on Earth. But uh, we did find it, and um, we also, uh, the highlight was to find the African origin of India, the Kushite forms of uh, uh, Shiva, Lakshmi, Vishnu, Durga, and all of those in their original Afrikoid forms, forms, you see. Uh, that was the highlight. All right, but, coming, <clears> we, Kashmir, yeah? hmm? Kashmir Co coming from Kashmir, yeah? Coming from Kashmir, Kashmir which is now Pakistan, um, which is now Pakistan. And they still worship uh, 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 some sacred uh, science called Kashmir Shavaism. If you ever get your hands on some of those books, it's real, real interesting stuff. Okay. Um, um, a lot of Kundalini material and stuff coming from those texts. Mm -hmm. So we were able to, uh, able to uh, get a glimpse of this, like I said. In America, there's no such thing as you paying for, you, you having a free museum. Yeah. <laughs> you pay for everything you get in America. All this right. is unheard of. <laughs> you see, yeah, it yeah, might right. be $7, might be 10 but you're going to pay. You know, the big that. bonanza don't play that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were able to go and take in this and, uh, and, um, and see some ancient relics. Right. And we're going to have to come back again. For sure, for sure. And, Convince them to let us into some secret rooms. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you saw, they open up the room for us after yeah. it's done, locked off, closed yes. up the room, so yes, the we, spirit we, just kept the flow going. Right, because I needed to see this funerary thing. But what happened was we had to, I went down and found a book, and a book of British Museum had come to find out they had this funerary text that uh, I didn't know that they had. Mm. It was right near, near the Book of the Day, right in the same case with the Book mm. of the Day. And so we had to rush back up. Yep. And they were closing the uh, museum down, that section down, and the guy let us in for a few minutes to document it, and that's great, you know. Uh, so, because we had seen it earlier, but we had no way of knowing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's cool. number one. All right, please.
Any little feedbacks about the whole inside? Uh, listen, anything? Man, amazing. Um, I've been here before. I've never, like, you mean like you yeah, were saying, said the same Darren, thing. you know what I mean? I've, I've never been into that, uh, to the, uh, the ancient Indian, you know, mm. the ancient Dravidian of our people. Yeah, yeah. And, I've know, also been to told to check out the um, Victoria and Albert Museum that they got a whole heap of stuff, stuff there as well. Yeah, like the ancient Indian stuff as well. I mean, so, uh, and just right at the back there, they just had all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You saw the gods and the goddesses, Lakshmi, Shiva, Bhavadi, yes. all of them, mm. Nubian, black yeah, faces, yeah, Asian, yeah. black faces, no argument. You could see you the relationship between the Indian and the Chemite stuff, and the, Kemite, you know, right, the exactly. serpent, yeah, you know, the Kundalini energy, the, the Kundalini, hair style. Uh, the hair yeah, style yeah, you know, you know, and we found an ancient statue of Shiva, I think it was, mm. with an afro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with a fro. Yes. And Big one of the push. first ones as well, because it was in stone, and you know that. That's right. Like what that's Bobby right. Saying, you know, the, the stone, stone one was, was, it comes first before all, right. all the casting of the iron and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, the, but they had the stone, but it looked like a fro like queen teeth. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. fro. Yeah. You know. yeah. All right, well, man, well, yeah, so let's definitely open up some new channels coming yeah, through definitely. here, things that yes. we've never seen before. Definitely. All right, well, we're going to continue hit a couple of bookstores and stuff, yeah? Okay, yeah. All right, then. We're going to continue the journey, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. You know. Peace. 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 Rolling. And we end this documentary bonus footage at Cleopatra's Needle. Cleopatra's Needle. Shipped over from ancient Egypt in commemoration of as a gift to Queen Victoria. I mm. think that's how it goes. It's flanked by two Sphinx. They say it dates back to 1500 BC. Was erected in honor of Thutmose the Third. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually his, his father. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Built to last. We saw him in the British Museum today. That's right. Mm -hmm. I think they just have a tendency to call all obelisks clear, clear back to me. Yeah, that's yeah, what they was calling them in the, in the Victorian the ages. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. It was calling all of them clear back to me. Yeah. Right. Here by the River Thames or the River Isis? Yeah, River Isis. Right. So that's the river Isis. Yes. Isis, Isis River, you know. Mm. Uh, you know, and I'm pretty sure even in the ancient world. Get a uh, thing of that Ferris wheel. This goes out for you, Sister Delbra Morris. She got in the Ferris wheel for some reason the last couple of months. And so we got the big one there for her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tell you. All right. All right. You know, so, uh, and I'm sure in the ancient world, um, uh, these waters would have been joined like the Mississippi River, the Nile, uh -huh. the Amazon River, you know, all those were, you know, because the Mississippi River is still, that, that's the river of Isis. Mm. If you look at the word Mississippi, you see the word Isis. Yeah, you can yeah. see Big Ben, yeah. you know. Which is, Big Ben is down, can you see Big Ben? Right Benjamin, there. Benjamin Banneker. Benjamin Banneker. They loved his clock work so much until they built a biggest clock in these hemispheres for him, Big Ben. Yeah, he had those. So, so yeah, this is a uh, return of the ancients. You know? For sure, That's for like, sure. Turn of Telling you. Amarcus. Amarcus. Two of them, two of them. God in the uh, obelisk. The penis. The tekanu. The palace. Oh, yeah. The Ain't it funny if you look at the Amarcuses, one's facing east and one's facing west. Wow. But that's west and that's east. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For real. So, you know, they, they, they didn't pull it here. They put, yeah, oh yeah, they, they, they did their science and so they mapped it out. And, you know, so. You can see five of this. Yeah. You got the wing disc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me get a close yeah. up of that before the battery runs out. Except for every door in Egypt. Also says, Man, know thyself. That's yeah. Kepra. Yeah. That's the uh, watch it, watch it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which holds the obelisk. Oh, 
Well, they say they removed it from the Greek dynasty to Alexandria, the royal city of Cleopatra. It was there erected in the 18th year of Augustine, of August, Augustus Caesar. Caesar. Augustus Caesar, excuse me. BC 12. It was erected by Chuck Moses III about 1500 BC. I stopped most of the third right there. No, 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 I'm rolling. It, it, it interesting said that it was later on added, um, there was uh, inscriptions added by Ramesses the Great. And the reason why that, because Ramesses was good for going to take older monuments and mm -hmm. stealing them, they, uh, putting his name on them. Okay. He was, he was famous for that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Big ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had 90 children. Mm. His name is on more no, monuments than any other. Yeah. Died at 90. Yeah. He's got more, more names on monuments than any other pharaoh. Right. And and most of the monuments were built before he was even born. Mm. <laughs> but he did build a lot in his time, master builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And okay. before, before him, well, before Akhenaten, most, most kings were not really interested in showcasing their wives and exalting their wives. And so Ramesses did learn something from Akhenaten, because after that he built the temple of Nefertari right yeah, by yeah. Abyssembel, right, yeah. right beside his, yeah, his tomb. Yeah, yeah. And he was inspired to do that by Akhenaten, who elevated uh, Nefertiti. So he, and even the name Nefertari, Nefertiti means beautiful one, Nefertari means most beautiful one. Yeah. So, was really affected by the Amarna period, you know, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why we have a big temple to his wife that you get ready to go see in August. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were ritual for me. Oh, definitely. I'll be, uh, uh, you're going you're gonna to see the DVD, man. You <laughs> <laughs> for an ancient future doctor. Oh, okay. That's right, that's right. You're going to be seeing that. I'm, that's like exclusive. Ritual just for Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be there with the tarot cards, the alcohol, the vibration, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might just bring the temple back. <laughs> but I have a special relationship to the temple of Dendera, and the temple of the temple of Hathor at Dendera, and the temple of Edfu with Horus, especially the temple of Hathor at Dendera, because I elevated that in my first yoga lecture oh, back, in, right. uh, back in '92. So that's very special, you know. So you got to see a few of the sites now, Bobby. I know yeah. we just swung yeah. by them, but what, what what do you make of London? You know, what, what's your makeup now? Um, it, it reminds me of a composite of New York and DC, except when you get to the older part, mm -hmm. you know, Buckingham Palace and all of that. But um, it's got a little more. Uh, uh, a little more things you can do as far as that British Museum was very impressive. Especially right. to find a Stella of my past life there. I had a pirates. So, but it, it it's, uh, you know, very interesting. And what I really make of London is just the tons and tons of black people walking around. That's it, you said like that Harlem, one. and you would never know this. <laughs> I am baffled. If anything that I can say that I've been kept in the dark about it is, Literally, and, and, and I and I had a chance to come here years ago, and didn't really want to come because of the simple fact I didn't want to go no place with all them white folks and no black folks. Oh, I understand that. I, hear that. I said, Why well, I, I want to go there ain't no black people yeah. over there? Mm. And look at this. Yeah. I've been lied to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They've been over here for the what? The past seventy? When did the the, the influx yeah. came? Yeah. Fifties. Yeah. Fifties, yeah. sixties. Huh? Right. With the sixties and stuff like that. So my point is, they they've been over here a while. That's right. You got generations now that have been born now, are being born, born here. here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Exactly. We're a good four, or five. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm mean, like fifty, sixty year olds. Yeah. Like yeah. Good. Right. So it's it's just like um. It's just like Chuck D said, you know, get yourself a passport, you see what I'm saying? And that way your perception of things can be proven only by you and not other people. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? For sure. It can be dictated by you. 
But that is a, that is one of the major things, you know. But then again, on the other hand, all things will be revealed in the end. The Gospel of Thomas, Snack and Body Library. Nothing will remain in the dark. And the UK gods is basically, you see, That's for sure. time to shine. Yeah. Time to shine. Your time has come. For sure. But well, we're standing here. I think all these were bought here not by coincidence. Oh, no, no. They're no, triggers no. and catalysts right. to remind us right. of the, the linkage that we